So this week uh, we're coming out of the government shutdown, which I think everybody's excited about. I know I'm certainly happy about it. Um, and big part of my week was working on legislation or co-sponsoring legislation that would end government shutdowns forever. So Senator Portman introduced a great bill in the Senate uh, that Troy Balderson introduced here in the House. I jumped on that to co-sponsor it. Um, and then also uh, was a part of another bill that if we can't end shutdowns forever, which I think we should do because I, I don't know that they help anybody, um, but if we can't uh, end shutdowns forever, uh, what we should do uh, is suspend members of Congress's pay. And so that's another bill that I, I came on. So, you know, government workers, we go into a shutdown, they don't get paid. I don't think members of Congress should get pay, paid, frankly, if, if we're not able to, to do our job. And so uh, hopefully we can end government shutdowns forever. If we cannot, at the very least, uh, we should make sure that members uh, suffer just like anybody else. Uh, and so, so that's number one on shutdowns. Um, and then number two, uh, I was honored to be invited to the Oval Office yesterday uh, for the signing of an executive order, uh, a Buy American executive order, and President Trump signed it. Uh, we had some great workers, some, uh, some great steel workers, some great manufacturers uh, in the office as well. And the whole point of that uh, is to encourage our governments when they, when they go out to bid to make sure that they're buying American product, that they're buying American steel, American lampposts, whatever it is, uh, to make sure that we are supporting the American worker. So I was so proud to be a part of that um, and uh, just really excited for, for everything going forward. So uh, again, end government shutdowns forever uh, and then a very nice executive order. Thank you.